Right when we thought that Fazeev was starting to slow down, he dropped RDA with a left hook and then finished him off with a right hand. Some people were calling that early stoppage. I think it was pretty good when you see the replay. You could see RDA momentarily go out from the last ground and pound shot. And in that vulnerable position, he would have just taken more punishment. In my opinion, I think it was a clean stoppage. And this becomes the first time RDA has been knocked out ever since he fought Eddie Alvarez back in 2016. That makes Rafael Fazeev a bad man because Kamar Usman couldn't do it. Robbie Lawler couldn't do it, Leon Edwards couldn't do it, Paul Felder, Tony Ferguson, you could just go down the list. It was Fazeev to end Huffle Dos Anjos in such emphatic fashion. And for people that don't know the scorecards, Fazeev was actually up on the scorecards. It was 3-1 to one for him, so regardless of the finish, he would have won the fight either way. And the fight itself was pretty straightforward. RDA wanted to get the fight to the ground. He wanted to grapple for the most part. He shot in many takedowns, but Fazeev showed his outstanding balance, man. His takedown defense is actually pretty crazy because RDA got some good shots on him. Fainting very well to get reactions out of Fazeev and then go under these reactions such as this overextended left hook. RD is deep on his hips, but RD just couldn't get a drive in there. It was almost like he hit a brick wall. So he had to rise into the clinch to continue the takedown. And from there, Fazi was able to kick out with the inside hook and throw RDA over using his wizard. Or another time where RDA was dipping to each side, causing Fazeev to react to every single feint. And as soon as RDA goes in for a takedown, he's already halfway there. Fazeev was so fast to take away his hips, he squared up to RDA and got in the underhooks and just shoved him over. The only time RDA got a big takedown was when we all thought the Fazeev was starting to slow down and getting tired. But boy, that didn't last long because in the very next round, he knocks RDA out with a combination he was throwing the entire fight. In the orthodox stance, he would throw a flying knee, but in the finishing sequence, he would actually fake it, getting the same reaction out of RDA every single time, while RDA is putting up his left guard and galloping away from the knee. Because RDA decided to move away from Fazeev, Fazeev knew that the knee itself would be pretty hard to connect with, so he would have to rely on the follow-up shots. He always went to a right hook and then left hook combo. And that is why he faked it in the finishing sequence, so he can shorten the amount of time for him to get into the follow-up shots. If he fully threw the knee, it would take him that much longer to get back to the ground so he could start throwing his punches. By faking it and not bringing it all the way up, he can get into his punching combinations very quickly. And RDA made the mistake of throwing in a check right hook, which ultimately goes right over Fazeev's head. A big error in precision here, while Fazeev touches him with the right hook and then clatters him with the left hook on the jaw. He whipped that left hook so hard, anybody in this division would have been put down. The thing about RDA dropping his right hand here as he's throwing the right hook, it was actually a common thing that was happening the entire fight. So Fazeev was picking that out throughout the whole thing. You'll see this when he pumps a jab forward and Fazeev was able to counter with a check left hook, where if he had responsible defense, RDA could have easily blocked that left hook if he retracted his right hand back to his head. And not only that, even when RDA was being aggressive, taking the outside foot so he could line up his left straight, Fazeev always went to the check left hook. It was his main weapon moving backwards away from RDA's aggression check left hook every single time but the reason why it was so effective was because RDA kept dropping his right hand shooting down the left straight he would always drop his right hand and get hit by Fazeev's left hook this created reassurance for the finishing sequence that Fazeev would be able to catch him with the left hook eventually he just had to set it up correctly by not throwing a full out knee so he can get into the left hook a lot sooner but the thing about RDA was he was fainting a lot in the fight and they were very successful in drawing out reactions the issue was RDA never capitalized ever not even one time he would draw big overextending shots from Fazeev for an example all RDA did was lean forward and it triggered Fazeev's right high kick causing it to miss as RDA pulls back on it, RDA could have easily re-engaged and land some big shot on Fazeev right here. He just had to watch out for the spin. But RDA does nothing, he just lets him off the hook. And multiple times he will lean in, pulse forward, or even switch his stances forward to bait out Fazeev's left hook. And with the overextension, as RDA pulls away from this, again, he never capitalizes. RDA has some of the best pullbacks in the entire lightweight division. It's something he's always had success with, but to see him not capitalize this time, whereas when he fought Anthony Pettis back in the day, he was capitalized on that plenty, it was head scratching, man. It really was, because there were big opportunities for him to land big shots, or even try to take physique to the ground. But at least what it did show was 
how easily Fazeev is baited out by feints. Simply just leaning forward would draw out these big attacks, and that can cause a lot of problems for Fazeev moving forward. Guys can simply just feint at him, and Fazeev would just explode and potentially even gas himself out. It's just minimal effort from the opponent. And with this win, there's a lot of options for Fazeev. I personally would love to see him fight Justin Gaethje. I think that's the fight to make. I was saying that the winner of this fight should fight Gaethje, but I do see some people saying that he should fight Poirier or Michael Chandler. Any of these fights would be amazing, but I think a fight with Gaethje would be the most exciting. Just imagine the back and forth between them two. And as for RDA, he put a good effort, but perhaps he fights someone like Dan Hooker or even Tony Ferguson. Not a lot of other guys make it that much sense for RDA. Like, I don't want to see him go and fight Gamrot or Armin after Fazeev. Unless the organization just wants RDA out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.